Welcome back, you lovely bunch. Thanks for tuning in again. I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to an absolutely freezing morning here in the UK. It's minus four degrees Celsius. Bit fresh, gonna be honest. The plan was to take out the track lacrosse bike, but honestly, in this weather, like riding around on a bike with no brakes, it's just, it's a bit sketchy, right? It's a little bit sketchy, like, when the weather's good. So I'm certainly not gonna, like, I don't know, take any risks. I wanna stay in one piece for Christmas. So we are out on the Grounding bike. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Absolutely amazing bike, but look, check out this view. Beautiful. You know, it's the thing about like when it's cold, right? Looks absolutely gorgeous. Like when you're inside looking out and it's all like atmospheric and lovely, then you go outside and it's minus four and you're like, oh my God, I'm freezing. You know, I am wearing like winter longs. I've got like, like two long sleeve base layers, a long sleeve jersey, a long sleeve winter jersey. I've got a jacket. I've got like, trout. look, I'm basically camouflage as well. Look, where have I gone? Look, if I stand here, I basically disappear wearing everything that I own. So there we go. Here's my tip to winter riding. Just put everything on. The grounding bike, gravel bikes, mountain bikes, absolutely amazing for bad weather, you know? I think they are like the ultimate like bad weather bike. Like you can't ride your road bike when, well, when the roads are potentially icy. It's just too sketchy. So off-road is the only way, I believe. Um, oh, am I wrong? <laughs> you know, you all agree with me. I know you agree with me. So if you're outside, it's minus four and you have a choice of any bike, what bike are you gonna ride? It's not gonna be a road bike, is it? So anyway, we're gonna enjoy some of this like luscious, crisp and freshness on um, on the grounding bike. I'm trying to talk myself into like a positivity for this ride, because I know it's gonna be really cold. Let's go out for a bit of freezing cold miles. Love it. I don't know why I come this way. Well, I do know why I come this way. It's a really nice trail up until this point, especially when it's cold. There's like this little stream at the end that you have to ride up to get to the road. I'm gonna probably end up a little bit wet, which is exactly what you want on a lovely freezing cold morning. And um, I bet you it's dead icy up there. Let's go and check it out. It's gonna be probably, mark my words, loads of ice up there. Anyway, let's get wet and then try and get warm. Eek. Just a huge slab of ice. <laughs> a little bit sketchy, but I have the mega tank, so I think we're gonna be okay. Just have to keep my eyes open. Give me your eyes peeled. Whew. I'm nice and snugging now. I think I've got my layers absolutely spot on this morning. So my GoPro has decided to randomly just give up the ghost and now it's decided it doesn't want to work. It's too cold for it. So now I've had to resort to using my phone. And the fingers crossed it works all right. I think it will. Anyway, we're near the end of the ride. I've already done an hour. It's freezing. It has warmed up. It's now minus one. So, yay! <laughs> Can't feel my toes. But I'm just glad to be out. I love my turbo setup. But for me, turbo is like hard training sessions. And then when it's proper wet, when it's like this outside, I don't know, am I mad going out like this? I don't think so. I think a lot of you guys would agree with me. If you're wrapped up warm and you're snug, I mean, apart from my toes, that's not too bad, right? But yeah, I've been enjoying it. Really nice. Oh, I'm a bit hungry though, so I think we might have to pop to Greg's, you know? <laughs> Why not? I think I'll come out on a day like this, so, you know, Greg's is like, okay, right? Cold! God, it does get cold when I stop riding. But look, I've taken my gloves off, you know, so it must be a little bit warmer. Anyway, let's go and get some food. Mm. 
This might not be the fun track cross ride I had planned. <laughs> but you know, I feel like I've made the most of it. I'm quite proud of myself. I keep on not knowing where to look at this camera because it's like a different place for the GoPro, so it kind of weirds me out that you're over there, not there. So I've got my festive bags, I was going to do my outro, but I just noticed something quite spectacular. Check this out. Can you see this? I can't really get high enough, but um, it's got like, this round lumps at the bottom and it goes quite long and up to the end. And it has like this line in the top. So someone has taken the time to walk out a very phallic shape in the snow here. And it's humongous, absolutely humongous. The size of it, massive. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what a good place to leave this video. And if you're wondering whether to go out for a ride when it's this cold, honestly, serious bit of advice, I'd stay away from the roads. Like off-road all day, like, or ride roads you know that are salted, it will kind of completely ruin your bike. But stay to salted roads because, like, you won't notice the ice, you'll just be on your arse, you'll end up with a broken bike, broken bones, and it's uh, just not worth the risk. There we go, it's me being serious, serious tips. But honestly, yeah, it is a bit sketchy out. I'm happy I came out, you know. I think my bike's quite suited for it. And I stuck to most of the off-roads. So it's been quite fun. Um, unfortunately, my camera did die. I'm not sure whether I'm going to eat these and then zoom up the hill and then probably feel sick. Or I zoom up the hill, get nice and warm, and then eat these when they're a bit cold. You know, it's kind of like a lose-lose situation for me at the moment. Anyway, just a short little outing today. Thought I'd take you guys along for it. Stay tuned for my next vlog, because it's a birthday ride. Um, or it might not be a birthday ride if it stays this cold. It'll just be a birthday beer outside in the cold. Anyway, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.